Good morning, students. Today we are going to start our lesson with chapter three, and the name of the chapter is the desert. So, students, this lesson, that means this chapter, has been taken from your supplementary reader book, that is an alien hand. The name of your supplementary book is an alien hand, and this is chapter three of the same. Okay, so as this is the first day of chapter three, the desert. Today we will be reading the chapter. We will be going through each and every line, and whatever tough words we will find, we are gonna discuss that. We are. I, I'm gonna make you understand. This will be our duty for first day. Then the second day, I'll make you understand with the first part of this chapter. After that day. I'll make you understand with the latter part, and then we will discuss the question answers. So let us start today. A desert is generally without water and vegetation. Vegetation means the place where the plants grow. A green patch with fresh water and green trees in the middle of a vast desert is a beautiful sight. So green patch means the part the area where we can find water that is fresh water and some green trees this patch of area is in the middle of the big desert which actually looks very beautiful a desert may be too hot or too cold those of us who live in regions covered with forests and surrounded by hills may find it difficult to imagine what a desert is really like the popular belief is that it is an endless stretch of sand where no rain falls that means no rain happens and therefore no vegetation grows vegetation is again the same or uh, that is the place where the plants grow it is dry hot waterless and without any shelter shelter means uh, protection from the danger but this is not entirely correct for those who have studied it the desert can be a beautiful place it is the home of variety of people means different kinds of people animals and plants that have learned to live under very hot and dry conditions coming to the next paragraph true the ground is not always hidden by a cover of grass plants and trees as it is in other climates but whenever it rains which is rare that means very less of times it happens desert flowers bloom that means desert flowers blossom and the sight can be as rewarding as that of any tropical garden tropical garden means the tropical plants with um, good rainfall and a decent irrigation reading the last paragraph of this page students of course not of the chapter a desert is not always a flat unchanging wasteland of dry sand it may have mountains and hills it may have an oasis here oasis that means uh, an island or a place in the desert where there is water and uh, the plants also grow it can be small or big an oasis is like a green island island uh means a piece of land in the middle of a desert where a spring or a well gives plants and trees a better chance to grow a desert may be hot like the thar or cold like ladakh but generally speaking if a place has little or no water and vegetation people usually call it as a desert some deserts are almost totally without water in such places 
strong winds blow raising heaps of sand and depositing them as mounds okay so uh, raising heaps of sand that means when the strong wind blows you know it uh, it it makes a pile of sand together which actually makes us look like that is a mound that means um, a small hill type structure it is shown hmm these are called sand dunes that shift and move endlessly across the desert few plants can survive on such dry shifting sands you can see the picture also students and uh, though we are just going through it we are reading it we need to work on our pronunciation yes students you need to work on your pronunciation and um, read it efficiently desert plants and animals learn to require much less water than most plants and animals the camel is a typical desert animal of course because it is found in almost all deserts smaller desert animals have unusual means of satisfying their need for water all living things need water in order to survive a few plants and animals that live in deserts have developed the ability to require less water than most plants and animals the camel popularly known as the ship of the desert because it can drink a lot of water at one moment at one time camels can do without water for days together i think students we have studied this in uh, standard 6 also that camel can survive for many days without drinking water because it drink it drinks water at a moment on a on that point of time and it drinks a lot approx i feel of 300 gallons or something you must be remembering it i have taught you in standard 6 okay the reason is that they sweat very little and we sweat because we must keep our body temperature constant we sweat when it gets hot and this cools the body camels can stand high body temperature they don't need to sweat and can therefore retain the water they drink for a long period of time that means they do not sweat and they can get the water that they um, actually drank it they can retain the water for a long period of time the smaller desert animals do not drink water what do they do they burrow b u d l r o w burrow means a hole in the ground um you must have studied that uh, the rabbits live in burrows so it is pronounced as burrow underground during the hot day and come out at night to eat some of them eat other animals and get the water they need from the moisture of the animals that they eat fine so they get the moisture from the meat that they ate other animals from their meat these animals get the moisture others eat plants and seeds and get the water they need from plant juices itself desert plants also adapt adapt means uh, change themselves to the life they lead cactus plants store water in their thick stem their roots lie close to the surface of the ground and quickly absorb the moisture from the light rains moisture students that means water in the small droplets on the surface or uh, can present in the air itself so they absorb the moisture from the light rains that means little of rains that not happens on the regular 
period but yes very less of times it happens that is occasionally the major feature of all deserts is of course dryness and variations of temperature variations means changes in humid climates humid uh, means containing moisture in humid climates the moisture in the air acts like a blanket and protects the earth's surface from the hot rays of the sun the absence of this blanket in the desert lands causes the desert to heat up rapidly that means uh, um uh, to heat up very fast or uh, suddenly during the day and to cool off rapidly at night so in the similar pace that means in the um, uh, in the similar way it heats it it gets cooled up at night again rapidly means so uh, sudden fast you know deserts are an important part of nature's great plan they are there like the dense forests and deep oceans that we see in the forest just because they are hot and dry we should not look them as the useless parts of the earth of course not they are one of the most useful parts on the earth so students next day we are going to understand the first part of the story and we are going to do the comprehension check of that part take care students we'll meet in the next class